This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. I'm joined today by Offer Israeli, who is founder and CEO of the company, Elusive Networks. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm excited to learn more about Elusive, so let's get started. So first off, can you tell us about the founding story of the company? How did you guys get started? Sure. Um, we started off with uh, looking at the world of targeted attacks, obviously super important to our industries in general. And we really looked at what would be the best means to thwart these types of attacks, really get ahead of the game. And I think that uh, given the group's background and knowledge in this space um, from previous lives, we brought up a, a new innovative approach on how to tackle this immense problem. Very nice. Okay. And now what exactly does the company do? What would be the elevator pitch? Right, so the companies in the, in the world of detecting these very sophisticated attackers, so we're looking at the kind of worst of the worst, if you will, um, and how to detect them very early on in the attack life, life, life cycle, sorry mm -hmm. about that, and very clearly with a very high signal to noise ratio. So we do so by our technology, which is called Deceptions Everywhere. The idea is that we are able to build multiple realities into the real reality inside an environment and by doing so mislead attackers when they're progressing within and basically catch their activities. Oh, very cool. So, okay, I know you just kind of touched on it just now, but how exactly is your solution different from other solutions out there? What makes it, you know, so special? Yeah, sure. There are multiple solutions in this space have taken kind of the old uh, honeypot centric approach. So they basically spray a lot of machines across the environment in the hopes that the attacker lands within that machine, and if so, to study them to a large extent. Our approach is a detection first capability. It says prior to any investigation, you really want to make sure you're able to catch the attackers, make sure you surface their activities, and then obviously accompany that with a lot of detailed information as for what it is they're doing, who they are, and so on and so forth. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And now with so many organizations under attack, what do you see as their biggest concern and what are some ways that you think that they should be defending themselves? I think the biggest concern is that many of the organizations don't know how to handle these types of attacks. They're deploying a bunch of different solutions in there, but the reality is that many of these attacks go uncovered, you know, for months and months. And we see these reports coming out across the board. Um, and at the same time, there's a whole bunch of solutions which are causing a lot of noise in the socks of the world, right? Mm -hmm. so the security operations center is overwhelmed by an amount of false positives they just can't deal with, and they don't actually catch what matters. I think that's exactly the refreshing approach that we bring to the table of how do you keep to a very low noise ratio um, and at the same time make sure that you are able to catch these types of attackers. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like so many companies are dealing with a lot of alert fatigue too lately, so I agree. Now I'm wondering, why do you think deception technology is gaining so much momentum lately? I think it's uh, proving on its promise. I think uh, to date it's showed that the ability to deploy this in a very easy, lightweight manner so that you can actually get your ROI very um, significantly because you're not going to be investing a whole lot of manpower or resources in order to stand up the solution. And at the same time, it's catching attacks that other solutions just don't see. Mm -hmm. And so it proves itself as a very viable approach to catch these types of attacks. And now with all the security tools organizations already have, why would they need Elusive? I think uh, you need to be in a situation where you can really deploy a tool that will give you the value that you're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. So if we take a tool that is a whole world of burdens to actually put up and you have to hire a bunch of people to go through a lot of data and try to find the needle in the haystack that's not an effective approach and it's ah, not worth it the reality is it's failing and with elusive i think we're doing exactly the contrary and that's why it's being adopted uh, to a good extent okay now speaking of other companies what kind of companies are adopting your solution and can you talk about a case study in which you were able to help a customer 
Absolutely. We're seeing adoption uh, pretty much across the board. So uh, we're selling into all of the major sectors. Um, we're in the enterprise space. So we're looking at companies from around a thousand employees and up. On the low end of the scale, we have companies, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 employees that basically take us for the lightweightness of the solution. And on the other hand, and the, uh, we have some of the biggest brand names in the world as customers where they're trying to leapfrog their security program, really make sure they're ahead of the game with you know, the most advanced security capabilities. So it's been quite broad in terms of adoption, uh, both across industries and across geographies. Um, we've caught all kinds of interesting activities as maybe a, an interesting case study was an ISP that deployed us. Elusive, shortly after the deployment, Elusive was able to unveil an operation when we investigated, had been going on for 11 months, traversing multiple different VLANs, oh. a very critical network, you know, something that is, let's say nobody wants to catch that type of stuff in their environment. Right. Unfortunately, Elusive was up, able to uncover that while other security solutions remained dormant uh, during that attack itself. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Thank God you guys caught that. And so now I know that deception-based security is pretty advanced. How receptive are organizations to this security strategy and how quickly can their security team see the return on this kind of investment? We're seeing um, uh, different organizations have different uh, means to go about security, obviously. Mm -hmm. This is still uh, somewhat of an early market. And so um, to date, many early adopters have been the ones that have adopted it. You know, early adopters by nature have been the ones to bring it in. What we've seen over the course of the last uh, months and uh, probably even uh, over a year is um, uh, some mainstream adoption. So I think that's a very interesting uh, area that we're seeing uh, progression to the market that we're seeing that it's evolved into um, more traditional customers, I should say. Um, and the adoption really is based on the fact of, of exactly what you pointed out. What ROI could I see? That is, and, I, and the emphasis, ROI is always a challenge with security, right? So the emphasis really is, do I need to invest a whole lot to get this going? Or can I invest little and know that I'm protected against the worst? I think that's what's been very appealing for our customer base. Very nice, yeah. And now lastly, what developments can we expect to see down the line from your team? And what does your company roadmap look like? Our vision for the company is basically to be the most prominent player in the targeted attack space. Now that's quite a big uh, undertaking in the <laughs> and so there's a lot to go into that in the years to come. Uh, so far, we've built ourselves extremely well and we're succeeding, uh, fortunately, touch wood in a very good manner. And so we've expanded our offerings from only detection into the world of remediation, into the world of prevention, everything that has to do with lateral movement inside the organization and being able to address that to a very good extent. In the years to come, you'll see us expand even more so and provide other means that are relevant for, again, these types of attacks, the targeted attacks that will really have a profound impact on the business should they occur. Very nice. Offer, I'm excited for that. All right. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and speaking with me today. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Enjoyed our time. <laughs> thank you. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.